Science Journal for Kids and Teens presents How Can We Prevent Cervical Cancer in Mongolia? Adapted from the original peer-reviewed paper in the journal Vaccine X, published on April 8, 2022. Research conducted by Clint Pachenka, Monk Erdine Loveson, Elizabeth Fudica, Katie Reagan, and others from PATH in Seattle, Washington, and the Department of Health Policy at the Mongolian National University of Medical Sciences in Mongolia. See the full list of authors and their affiliations in the accompanying PDF. Read by Miranda Wilson. Abstract. Have you ever heard of cervical cancer? It's one of the most common forms of cancer among women. Most of the cases occur in countries with lower incomes and fewer resources. The leading cause of cervical cancer is human papillomavirus, or HPV. There are several effective vaccines against HPV, but introducing them in the vaccination calendar would cost a lot. Would it be worth it? We used a mathematical model to see if HPV vaccination would be cost-effective in Mongolia. It helped us estimate the benefits and costs of introducing an HPV vaccine there. We found out that it would cost between 2.4 and 3.1 million US dollars, but could save nearly 4,000 lives. We believe that introducing HPV vaccines in Mongolia would be cost effective. Introduction Cancer is a scary word. It's a leading cause of death worldwide and kills millions of people each year. It can start almost anywhere in our body. But do you know what cancer is? The cells in our body grow and divide. They also know when to stop growing and usually die. Afterward, new cells take their place. Cancer interrupts this normal process. Cells start to grow and spread very fast and out of control. These abnormal cells can form a mass called a tumor. It can spread to other parts of the body. This can lead to a lot of damage and even death. One of the most common cancers among women worldwide is cervical cancer. Most of the cases occur in countries without a lot of resources, like Mongolia. But what causes cervical cancer? Usually, human papillomavirus, or HPV, is responsible. HPV is a group of many related viruses. Some of them spread through sexual contact. Most infected people don't even know they have HPV because they show no symptoms, but they can still infect others. This makes HPV prevention very important. There are several vaccines against HPV, But because there are many types of HPV, vaccines can't protect people against all of them. Usually, the vaccines target the most dangerous types, HPV 16 and 18. They are responsible for most cases of cervical cancer. Here is an image of the human papillomavirus that causes cervical cancer. The virus itself can be seen on the right of the image and is not to scale. In the background, you can see the vagina, the cervix, and the womb. HPV vaccines have proven to be effective and reduce cases of cervical cancer, but not all countries can afford them. Still, the cost of medical treatment for cancer patients is not low either. So, what if governments in countries like Mongolia introduce HPV vaccines? Will it be the best use of money to improve health? That's what we wanted to find out. Methods. We used a mathematical model to see if HPV vaccines would be cost effective in Mongolia. Our model evaluated what would happen if all nine-year-old girls received vaccines for a period of 10 years. To work this out, we collected some important information. The price of the vaccine. We compared two available vaccines, one against four types of HPV and one against two types. How many cases of cervical cancer there are each year in Mongolia? How many people die of this disease? Which types of HPV are most common in Mongolia? 
the vaccine's efficacy against these types of HPV, and how much the government pays for cervical cancer treatment. To assess the benefits of vaccination, we calculated how many cases and deaths it would prevent. We also used a statistical measure called DALI's, Disability Adjusted Life Years. This measures the number of healthy years lost due to the disease. We calculated all costs and compared the vaccination scenario with a no vaccination one. Results. The vaccine's efficacy depends on the HPV types common in Mongolia. HPV 16 and 18 are two of the most common and most serious, and vaccines against them do a little better. Overall, we calculated vaccine efficacy to be around 65%, rising to 90% against the most serious kinds of HPV. Vaccination would also prevent between 5,692 and 6,832 cases of cervical cancer. Plus, it would prevent between 11,886 and 14,256 DALIs. We therefore estimated that vaccination would save between 3,240 and 3,890 lives. Vaccination would cost between 2.4 and 3.1 million US dollars more than no vaccination at all. If the government is willing to pay $747 per DALI prevented, it would very likely be cost effective. Here in figure one, you can see the estimated number of cervical cancer cases, DALIs, and deaths averted by vaccinating nine-year-old girls over a 10-year period. On the y-axis, you can see the number of health outcomes averted. On the x-axis, you can see data from two scenarios. On the left, in light purple, you can see what would happen if Mongolia used a vaccine against four HPV types. On the right, in dark purple, you can see what would happen if Mongolia used a vaccine against two HPV types. For each of these scenarios, there are bars representing data for the number of cases of cervical cancer averted, DALIs averted, and deaths averted from left to right for each scenario. Looking at the data, which vaccine offers better results? Discussion. So is it worth introducing HPV vaccination in Mongolia? We strongly believe so. Our model shows that both vaccines could save thousands of lives. The DALIs prevented are also significant. Plus, we didn't even consider other positive effects. One of the vaccines, for example, also protects against genital warts. Even though the costs of vaccination are high, we believe it would be a cost-effective investment. Putting a price on human lives seems a bit cold, but all countries, and especially ones with fewer resources, have limited budgets. Governments must weigh up all the costs and benefits and choose the best option to improve health. We hope that our model and results can help the Mongolian government to make a decision. Conclusion Talking about cancer can seem overwhelming and scary, but cervical cancer is one of the most preventable and treatable forms of cancer. Find out about vaccination options and the screening schedule in your country. Very often, someone can have HPV without realizing it, and sometimes it can take years for it to show up. But the sooner you know you have HPV, the less dangerous it is. So it's really important to get vaccinated if your doctor recommends it, and also to get screened regularly. Thus, you take care of yourself, but also protect others. Thank you for listening to this recording. Visit our website, sciencejournalforkids.org, for more free science teaching resources.